Attack on Mika. Welcome. How would you like some freshly made Odin? I'm Ryo. I'm just your everyday staff at a convenience store. Ryo chan, you're so full of energy today as always. Yep. You getting your usual coffee today? Yes. Will you prepare me one, please? It's hard work, but the customers are great and I have fun every day. One day, a group date? Yeah, Ichi gathered some cute girls. Please? I'm not really good with that kind of stuff. Don't say that. What about Setsuna Manji, aka Mr. Awesome? He's probably free. So, If he comes, the girls will bail in seconds. Okay, fine. Yes! Ichi and Ko are my childhood friends, and both are working at prestigious companies. Will I fit in with these guys? I couldn't say no, and ended up participating. Hello! Hello! Wow! The day of the group dating, the girls that came all seemed like high-quality girls. Hey, Ichi! This is great! They're all cute! Don't underestimate the connections of a man working for a trading company. Good thing you came, right, Ryo? Yeah, this is great! This is gonna be a great day, is what everybody thought as the group started dating. I'm Mika. I'm Ruri. I'm Mizuko. I graduated from Ochana Mizu University with a degree in Econ. I'm such a genius and graduated top of my class that some guys are a little intimidated by me. I'm interested in guys who are still willing to go for me, even though I'm out of their league. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, now it's our turn. I'm Ichi. I'm a salesperson for an advanced trading company. I'm Ko. I work for a global company and sometimes go on international business trips. I'm Rial. My hobby's cooking. And I'm currently working at a convenience store. <laughs> You're a staff at a convenience store? Y yes. Are you serious? I thought this was a high-end group dating. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not kidding. I can't believe this. You're just a staff at a convenience store and you're here with us? Excuse me, there's someone here that doesn't belong! Hey, Mizuko, who brought this person? LOL. It's not even funny. You two suck at choosing people. What? Hey, hey, he works really hard helping out his parents' restaurant while working at a convenience store. Wow, your parents own a restaurant? Yeah, but it's very small. That's great. <laughs> if you look at it from an economical perspective, running convenience stores and small restaurants are the worst. Profit is so low and work is boring. I don't understand how anybody can work at those places. What? Uh, hey, by the way, Ryo-kun, did you go to college? Actually, I started working after graduating high school. <laughs> and you're a high school graduate? Yes. Oh my! If there's a high school graduate, we should have chosen a dirtier and cheaper Izakai instead. If your education level is low, isn't it hard for you to understand the greatness of fine cuisine? Who is this girl? Should I strangle her? I know because I'm a top graduate of my econ major, but these high quality fancy restaurants make a lot of money because they have high spending customers. The profit is so different from convenience stores. I mean, I guess you won't understand any of this um, since you're just a hired employee. Uh, okay. I'm different from you and had the best education. Of course, I had to take an entrance exam to even get into preschool. And I have certain experiences because of my high level education. And on top of that... Mizuki's bragging kept going and the dinner wasn't even fun. But rather, it was a very bad atmosphere. Well, guess it's no good to be stuck onto education. I just made a comment trying to ease the situation, but... What? What is education to you? It's an important tool to get to know somebody. The fact that you don't care much about it proves your stupidity. The lower rank people are the ones that say education doesn't matter, and that disgusts me. You should just eat the old bentos at the convenience store. You will never understand the top-notch stuff. <sighs> it's true that I don't have a high education. My salary now is probably lower than Mizuko's, but... But, I think someone who has a hard-working attitude towards something is much more wonderful than having a high education. Mika-san, 
You're doing your best in cooking, right? You should be proud of yourself for that. That's so stupid. Hardworking attitude? So lame. By looking at someone's education level, you can pretty much tell what kind of person that person is. Oh yeah, Mika, you graduated college, but you went to a college that's easy to get into, right? You guys are a good match, both low level. <laughs> <sighs> hmm, the people that came today suck, but this truffle is the best. This top-notch black truffle goes so well with this top-notch wine. That's not black truffle. It's thinly sliced, so very hard to tell, but the color's slightly different, so... This is white truffle. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Really? That's crazy, you can tell. Th th this meat is ribeye steak, right? Mmm, it's so delicious. Top-notch people deserve high-quality meat. Nah, that's sirloin steak. <gasps> you can't even tell the difference. Have you really been around top-notch stuff? You're brilliant and have a high education, but you have poor taste buds? And you mentioned the amount customers spend here. But expensive restaurants actually have more expenses. And if it isn't trending, they have a high risk of going out of business. Depending on the location, convenience stores actually have lots of customers, so the profit's really big. Convenience stores don't really have trends, so as long as they can maintain the number of customers, it'll be stable. Which do you think has a high financial risk? Um, that is... Uh, I wonder which one. What? You've been around top-notch stuff and you don't know? Be quiet! That doesn't matter! Education level's more important! You're talking big like that, but your education level's still lower than mine! The others, too! Just for that, this group date is worthless! You two! You two! You guys are all low level! <sighs> I feel so bad for people like you who can only judge people based on their education level. What? Well said. Mika-san has a strong sense of design, and her color arrangement skills are perfect. Ryo has cooking knowledge and has the ability to brighten up the mood around him. Ichi! Ko! Everybody has their own personality and strengths, and everybody can learn from each other that way. The fact that you don't care to look at anything other than education level... ...means that you too are a low-level person. After that, Mizuko ran off and disappeared. Thanks to that, there was no more stress, and we were all able to enjoy our time. Ryo-kun, why are you so knowledgeable in cooking? Part of it's my parents' influence, but I've been studying it as well, for my dream of opening up my own restaurant. Wow, that's great! He's been saving money and is about to open his own restaurant. What? You own a restaurant? After graduating high school, I started saving money right away for my future dream. And finally, I'm at the point where it's about to come true. I want to open a restaurant that'll be a comfortable place for people. That's great! I respect you for not giving up and going after your goals. Mika-chan, thank you for covering for me earlier. I'm actually pretty interested in- We have an announcement to make. We, we decided, decided to, to go, go out, out with each, each other. other. Oh! I asked her out earlier today, and she said yes. I was interested in him as well, and thought I should go for it. Seriously? I ended up getting in a relationship with Rui-chan, but that story's for another time. Oh, and by the way, Mizuko was pretty frustrated about what we said to her. She went around all kinds of expensive restaurants so she could become top-notch in the cuisine world. But every day, she complained to the chefs. All her complaints are nonsense, and she just creates a scene. A lot of those restaurants won't allow her in anymore. The other day, she was seen eating gyudon at Matsuya by herself while crying. <laughs>